Hello, everyone. Before starting the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. In this video, I am going to show you that, how will you downgrade the firmware of a Ruckus access point. As an example, I am using a Ruckus R510 access point in this video. And I will be downgrading the solo or standalone firmware of this AP. Basically, downgrading the firmware of a Ruckus access point to an older version is as simple as upgrading or updating the firmware. I also have made a video on how to update the firmware of a Ruckus access point via web interface. The recommended procedure to upgrade or downgrade a firmware is that, always restore the device to its factory default settings before upgrading or downgrading the firmware, and, then after restoring the device to its factory default settings, we can upgrade or downgrade the firmware. Although, we always need to follow the recommended procedure but, it will be very difficult to restore each and every device on the network to factory default settings before upgrading or downgrading the firmware and then reconfiguring each and every device from scratch. My only purpose of making this video is, just to show you, that what will happen if we downgrade the firmware from the newest version to the oldest version. Will there be any changes in network configurations of the access point after downgrading the firmware? So, all I wanted to share in this video is that, I will compare the network configurations before and, after downgrading the firmware, along with the firmware version. The question is, why do we downgrade the firmware? If we already updated to the latest firmware, it is always recommended to update the firmware of any device to the latest version, because, the new version comes with bugs removed and other errors fixed. But it might not always be the case. It might possible that, the new version, may also have some issues, which needs to be resolved as per the feedback reported by the users. Besides this, we might have other reasons as well, due to which, we may not be satisfied with the new version. In that case, we might need to downgrade the firmware to the old version. Without wasting any further time, let's proceed to the practical section. First step is to download the firmware files. If you don't know how to download the firmware file then, watch my other video regarding downloading the firmware for Ruckus devices. I am also giving the link in the description. I have downloaded the firmware files and saved on the desktop. Let me open the folder. We can see that there are two firmware files inside this folder. One is the latest firmware with the version number 1360 at the end of the file name. This firmware is currently installed on my Ruckus R510 access point. The other firmware file is the older one, with the version number 663 at the end of the file name. So, in this video, I will downgrade the firmware of my access point from the newest version 114.0.0.0.1360 to the older version 110.0.0.0.663. Second step is to check the connectivity with the access point. To make sure that, both the devices, I mean, the laptop and the access point are properly connected to the network and both are communicating well, I will open the CMD on my laptop. I will now try to ping the IP address of the access point. So, I will type here the command ping space followed by the IP address of the access point and then, I will press the enter button. We can see that, the access point is responding which means, both the devices are connected properly and in working condition.
Since, I will be using the web management interface of the access point to downgrade the firmware. So, to access the web interface of the access point, I will open the internet browser and I will type the full URL address like https colon forward slash forward slash followed by the IP address of the access point, and, then I will press the enter button on my keyboard. Click on the advanced button. Now click on the link which says, proceed to, followed by the IP address of the access point. The login page will appear. I will enter here the current credentials of my access point, I mean the username and the password. After entering the credentials, I will click on the login button to log into the web interface of the access point. Upon logging into the web management interface of the access point, first, I will check the current software or firmware version of the access point. We can see that, this is the exact version that I mentioned in the start of this video, which is 114.0.0.0.1360. Beside this, let me show you the other configurations of this access point as well, so that we will also compare the configurations along with this software version, after downgrading the firmware of this access point. We can see that, I have changed the default device name and the device location of this device. If I click on the option Internet, under Status tab, we will find that I have changed the default dynamic IP address, to a static IP address of my network. If I click on the Radio 2.4G option, we can see that, I have created one SSID against 2.4G. Now, to downgrade the firmware, I will click on the Upgrade option under the Maintenance tab, which is on the left side of the page. Now I will select the Upgrade method as Local. Firmware must be selected in the Target Selection options. After that, I will click on the button Choose File. Here, I will go to the folder on the desktop of my PC, where I have saved the firmware file. I will open the folder and I will select the older firmware file. Then I will click on the open button. As we can see, the firmware file has been selected, because, the name of the firmware file can be seen here. Remember that, during this process, this access point will not be accessible because, after loading the firmware file, the access point will reboot. And also make sure that not to remove the power plug until this process is completed. Now, to downgrade the firmware, I will click on the button, which says, Perform Upgrade. As soon as I click on this button, it will start loading the firmware file. So we will have to wait for a moment until and unless the reboot process begins. We can see that, it is saying now, Please wait, the reboot process is in progress. So I will wait until the reboot process is completed. Remember again that, do not disconnect your PC from the network and the power adapter from your access point. When this message appears, which says, I am all done and, click on the OK button to reconnect. I will click on the OK button and, then I will wait for a moment so that, the web interface will reconnect. Remember, if the web interface does not reconnect automatically, then wait for a moment and, try to reconnect while clicking on the refresh button of the browser. We can see that, we have been reconnected automatically. If you check the IP address, 
it is the same as it was before downgrading the firmware. Now let me enter the current credentials, I mean the username and the password, and then I will click on the login button. I have successfully logged into the web management interface using the credentials, which I used before downgrading the firmware, it means, the login credentials didn't change after downgrading the firmware. After logging into the web management interface, let me check the firmware version first. We can see that, the firmware has been downgraded to the older version successfully. We are done here with the firmware downgrade process. Now, I will check the other configurations of this access point to compare the changes, if any. If we check the device name and the device location of this access point, we will see that there is no changes. If I check the IP address of this device by clicking on the internet option, it is also the same as it was before downgrading the firmware. If I check the SSID by clicking on the radio 2.4G option, again we will find that there is no change in the SSID section either. Means that, downgrading or upgrading the firmware has nothing to do with the other configurations of the access point. That's it. We have successfully downgraded the firmware of our Ruckus R510AP. Summary. The firmware has been downgraded successfully without any changes in other configurations of this device. So, if you wanted to downgrade the solo firmware of a Ruckus access point, then don't worry about other configurations of the access point. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching this video and giving us your precious time. Hey! Please! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any query, leave it in the comments section below. I will be more than happy to entertain. Thanks for watching this video.